Welcome back, survivors. I'm the Survival Vis, and we return to Project Zomboid, where we're continuing along through our series, though our days may well be numbered. I think we got properly and truly bitten by a zombie. So it might just be a matter of time until, like, ah, the infection takes hold of us. But until it does, if it does do that, we're going to keep trying to go our way through and see just how long we can last and go along here. So I'm close to what might be another storage unit or industrial complex or something. We've got all kinds of mood things going on. We're queasy, we're, I guess, kind of depressed or something. We're nervous. It might all be symptoms because of our heart flicking back and forth so rapidly there. But we're going to go down fighting for sure. No, you know what? I'm going to have that uh, meat stick. I know it was on a zombie's body, but... It didn't seem like it had anything like negative that we would have gotten from having it. So it looks like unpleasantly hot. We might be coming down with a bit of a fever. And I don't think there's... Oh, okay, we got... Yeah, a bit of a group of them here. But looks like we were able to draw a couple off. Our health really isn't showing anything too much about, uh... Like that we're in that bad of a situation right now. It's kind of one of the problems I have with Zomboid is... It's not really fully transparent with a lot of stuff that should be. Oh, bitten again. Yeah, see, like, why does sometimes single hit with the stick will put these guys down? Others, it's completely random. And how many times do I have to hit the same one? There. God, yeah, there's a lot of issues I'm finding with Zomboid for, like, just simple stuff that should be explained much better. Like, when we go into inventory and you hover over a weapon, it gives you a bar. Just make it a number. It is this out of this. It does this many points damage. It has this much range. This bar crap is just crap, because there's so much more you should have for, like, knowing what you're using or what the effects are. Same with weapons. Why? It's, like, so random how many times or how much things are effective. Like, sometimes with a nightstick, I was... One hit would be knocking zombies right over. And other times, the animation is completely screwed up for what it's trying to do. Like, ah, man. Okay, let's get sterilized rag on, get this other one off. Yeah, Zomboid, I think there's a lot of stuff that still could be done to improve it with. It does say we're just bitten, but we're not infected on the right upper arm, so I wonder if, like, if you're able to keep yourself healthy enough. You could go with actually, like, overcoming the infection in some ways. But melee weapons also feel like they are so varied, too. Oh, wow. Looks like... Okay, there's like nothing left around here. Oh, well. Okay, there's a few zombies there. Health-wise, I don't know if I should push it. If I could try to draw like only one or two out, I might. That's like a group of, what, five? Well, it looks like it's a group of five, but one does have, like, a duffel bag on.
Come on. Like, again, another thing, too, is... It feels like the isometric view also makes it hard to do, like, certain actions. Like, when you're trying to dome the zombie, you have to be at just the right angle for it to pick up that's actually what you're trying to do, or you have to get the positioning just right. Like, I am trying to aim for that one's head. Yeah, I'd much rather just, instead of this, oh, specific arm-limb system for its targeting, just be more straight honest, make it zombies only have, like, a full health pool. Because unless you can actually see where your cursor is really aimed at... It doesn't feel like you're going to be able to get that reliable for stuff done. And then again, the aiming system is garbage. Like you basically have to be point blank and there's still a high chance you will miss with it. Zomboid does a few things pretty nicely, but there's still also a lot more that are just really too questionable about why they're how they are. Like, yeah, literally point blank and you still don't have a great chance with your shots. Okay, I'm not sure if I want to really fight them all, or I should just make a run for it. And hopefully this has lured them away from the area they were. Because I could actually go around over top, kind of where things were. Now let me take that bandage off. Yeah, see now, that one doesn't say I'm infected on that. But I've got all kinds of stuff going on here, so I really don't know. Uh, let me just drink and see how I'm holding up. Like, I've still got a number of things going on with us. Kind of tempted to cut back from where they all might have been and just see if there is anything I can find at that storage area. Okay, we got a few over there. Now, put the gun away. And yeah, we still got a group here. I thought I cleared out some more of them, but maybe the activity is drawing a lot around. So maybe what I'll do is we'll just retreat back to camp for now. Again, I need a melee weapon that actually feels like it does something. Like, the best weapons seem to be the spear because they do actually have power to them if you can get the right animation to play with them. It feels like so much of it takes a lot of these... Really weird in and out of knowing how it all operates. Okay, yeah, so I think... That all might be gathered from, like, well, the shooting I had done before. I was trying to think of if I do want to head all the way back, or... What I want to do here. Uh, let me get the other bandage off. Let me get... A sterilized rag. We'll use on that. Uh, 
Yeah, I'm just going to get us back to our campsite and see. It likely is because of everything that I got. That first bite that might have infected us, as well as, like, everything going on, too, from today. We may be due for really getting killed out. But I feel like... Project Zomboid is one of those games where it has a decent foundation to it, but you need a lot of quality of life changes to bring it back to be a much better experience. Things like more transparency of what effects these things have, what their sources are from. When it comes to items, what their total condition is, not just this weird bar graph that doesn't even really let you, like, know. The aiming system for the firearms, I think, could be a lot different. It's one of the ones that has all kinds of potential and foundation, but you'll probably want to have some mods or a mod list made up to really bring out Zomboid's best aspects. And to improve the parts where it could really use it. But for now, we'll just get back down here and see what we can do for our poor selves. Like, what I think I'll do is I'll grab the tree branches, put them into the fire. Although, I do wonder, with having put the cooking pots into the fire that had the, uh, the water to it, I am kind of curious about if they'll have, like, the water will be tainted at all or not. Ah, uh, let's add all the tree branches into there. Now I'll just keep that opened up. Yeah, I'll just do that to get it going. Okay, no, so apparently those... Okay, let's clean all the rags. Well, I thought I just heard... Something, I don't... I almost think it might have been like a zombie, but I'm not 100% sure. Uh, disinfect all of our rags. Yes, yeah, so I got quite a bit there. Now I can clean the bandage we got. We can even disinfect, too. So, yeah, so let me remove that bandage, see what we're dealing with. Scratch, bitten, bleeding. It doesn't say infected, though. So I am kind of curious what's going to happen through that. Now we'll just clean another rag up. I think I'll also just see about our food box. Uh, is there anything that would give us a fair bit back? Ah, uh, you know what? Let's open that one up. Yeah, we'll have all of that. Trying to think, uh, what else? Provides boost of energy when taken, reduces fatigue. I don't think I'll have that. Uh, do, do, do. And I'll take the frying pan over, just put that on the fire. And is there anything else food wise that might be interesting to have? Um. 
I'm kind of curious what happens if I open this and then I put, like, the open thing on a fire. Wait, did I open that? No, I didn't. Okay, let me open that up. And if I move that over, can that, like, be warmed up or get any bonus from it, or...? No, uh, just like it only says, like, nutrition there. Yeah, so let me sleep and see how... No, too much pain. Uh, I don't think I have any way of, like, being able to change that, though. I don't think I have painkillers at all here, do I? Uh, duh, duh, duh. No, it doesn't look like I have anything in there for it. Nothing in that. Nothing really there. No, I don't think I have anything I can... We can take a seat for a while, but... Yeah, I can't sleep because I have too much pain. And I don't really have anything else I think I can do to change that. Hmm. Uh, let me see what books I've got. Maybe I'll try some reading and see if something like that helps. Right, at this point, because I can't really sleep, I don't know what I'll be able to do. Okay, I think... Okay, I don't think there's any point in reading that, because it sounds like I've already got everything from that. Uh, let me try reading the foraging, though. Actually, it doesn't even look like anything's happening for ourselves, unless maybe when I would read before, I sped time super quickly along. Oh yeah, I am slowly using it, but... Okay, you know what, I'm just going to... Uh, fast forward time a little bit just to see how things go for us. I was like, with the pain, I can't do anything about sleeping. Let's get that off. Another sterilized one on. Yeah, so I don't know if I have... I'm stuck at the point where, like, I have to find painkillers in order to get sleep, or... How I could go about this. I'm still nauseous, I'm depressed, nervous wreck. I mean, we're wet because of rain, or possibly we've got a fever. Again, there's nothing kind of saying if we have a fever or not. Um, uh, actually... Maybe we're not... We don't have a fever. Like, you have a lot of stuff to go through, but it doesn't say anything like... Yeah, our heat's really all that off there. The only thing is, just trying to sit and take it easy... And see if some rest will do anything for us. Um, 
Okay, there's the tree branch. I was just going to... I was going to try to put something into the fire keep going a little longer. Yeah, I kind of... That didn't seem like there was anything I could do for, like, making a shelter over ourselves. Like, carpentry, there's walls, there's doors, but... Unless there's something like... I wonder if I can make wooden floor on top of the log wall. Planks, nails, and carpentry. No, oh, no, I need carpentry level one, and I don't even have that, so I can't do it. Yeah, it won't let me sleep. Uh, maybe I'll just try going into... Go a little bit into town, see if I can find, like, a bed or something there that's out of... Out of the rain. Because there are a couple of houses just right beside us at, like, the, uh... Forest set. The edge of the forest there. Truth be told, I don't know if I've come across painkillers and left them at the, uh... Uh, the clinic we came by or not. Or they could have been something... No, oh, there's a... Actually, Garden Hoe has a lot of... I'm going to take that. Maybe that's our new melee weapon, is the Garden Hoe. No, oh, actually... Oh man, I God, I didn't do much of anything for this place here cuz like there's a lot of stuff that I could have easily have grabbed beforehand. Nothing in the fridge, eh, some stuff there. Cereal and chips. Oh, okay, now their bandage is dirty, so let's get that off and replace it out. And we'll even take a look upstairs and see what I can find. Nothing here. Ah, uh, perfume and rubber ducks. Alarm clock, nothing super here. I don't think it'll let me sleep here, will it? No, too much pain. Still can't do anything about that. Might have to try running up to the clinic just to see if I can find a painkiller. Well, I guess we can try reading the crossword magazine. I wonder if that'll help for anything like boredom reduction and some stress reduction. I don't know if it'll have any effect on some of the stuff we've got going on there, but it's worth a shot. Um, I think stress went down a little bit. It's still present for sure. But yeah, I think I've got to go for that clinic just to see if I've left uh, any painkillers back there at it. Because is it just up the road? Yeah, it's just a little ways up the road. Yeah, 
And I don't think I did too badly for the first couple of goes of the Zomboid. Like, going in blind, it does feel like there's an awful lot that you could have been given more info towards. It also feels like you... It's one of the games you kind of need to know what direction you're taking your character before you start playing. Like, with so many... Oh, hang on, that's a... That's a first aid kit right there. Oh, painkillers. Perfect. Now, you know what? Might as well just go into the first house I can find. If they will let me uh, get some sleep, we can see how things go after this. Because I think we're in a spot where... Yeah, I don't think we'd have to worry too much about the zombies around here, so let me just have... Some painkillers and see if they'll help in a little bit. Because I don't want to take too many at once. Oh yeah, so there's a nervous wreck again. Still can't sleep. Feels like we might just pass out if I'm honest. I'm just trying to think there's anything I can do to help alleviate some of our weight. Oh, I think I... Yeah, I can sleep now. Okay, so let's get some sleep and see what happens if we survive the sleep or not. Yeah, health is going down. Very severe damage. Okay, I can set that off. Now, where I'm bitten, it still looks like it's going down. It's not like it's healing those. Yeah, let me just rip the clothing up. And just get a bandage on that, too. Yeah, I don't think we're going to be surviving for too long. I gave it a fair shot. I think all I'll do is take us back to our camp. And if we do die, at least we'll die kind of where we set up home. I have had Project Zomboid going for 27 episodes now. I may look at doing a different series, because I'd probably have to go through and make a big list of what mods and changes I would get for uh, the game. Because again, the vanilla version, I, feels like, I feel like there's a little bit too much that you do not know or get transparency for number-wise that would really, really help improve the experience. Yeah, severe injuries, nervous wrecks, severely depressed, fever. There's just that one bite that I think really threw things off quite a bit for us. But again, the targeting system with this, I feel like could be improved on a bit. I can see why Zomboid is a very popular game, and like it does have a lot of great points to it. It is just more, it feels like there could be some refining and quality of life changes to help bring it up into better standing. But how long, how'd we do? So we had 167 kills. The nightstick wasn't my favorite weapon, it's just the only weapon that seemed to have decent condition to it that wouldn't break on us. And was very temperamental on whether it would actually take zombies down really nice and reliably, or it would seem like it was just a whack-a-mole hammer, just smacking over and over and over with nothing happening to it. 
Uh, we survived for close to 12 days. We probably will make it to 12 days, because only needs four more hours, and we'll hit that. Uh, we did get to be underweight, surprisingly enough. But yeah, everything kept piling up on us, and there was a lot of things that I should have done differently. Actually, trip be t Our garden hole looks more like a big pickaxe, if I'm honest. But, right, let me see. Okay, so here's our food crate. I do like the UI can be pretty uh, customizable for you can choose and put whatever you want wherever you want. Like, you can drag and move around these windows to any part of the screen you wish. But we might just be taking it easy around here. No, oh, okay, that's that crate full. I'm just gonna drink the juice box. Yeah, we're not losing condition, but I don't think we'll... Unless the stuff heals up, we're probably not going to gain any health either. I'm just trying to think here. Uh, do, 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 do. I might as well clean all the rags so I have bandages. We'll keep it going... Well, not this episode going until we die, but I will keep Zomboid going until this character does truly die. It might be pretty soon, given that we're depressed, we're terrified, we're, we've got a fever. I'm just trying to think of anything else I could do for... Uh, we can get the leather jacket off ourselves. I don't think there's anything else that's like really heating us up, but I'd probably just hold on to what I've got here. So yeah, we'll end this episode here with how dire straits we are, and see how it all comes to a close, most likely next week. But thank you guys for joining me on this episode of Project Zomboid. If you liked the video, you should give a like, and if you have any comments, tips, or tricks, shoot in the comments right down below. Until I see you all next video or episode, survivors, please remember, as always, to take care and stay alive.